is SportsCenter with L. Duncan and Kevin Nagandi. Busy show tonight. PTI back in moments. Who has the better chance to three-peat, Team USA or... Georgia. Plus, Falcons quarterback Desmond Ritter joins us to talk about expectations as the starter this season. But Kevin, we're going to start with new developments at Northwestern. As a football player who finished his career last fall is suing the university and head coach Pat Fitzgerald for a negligent response to frequent of the hazing allegations were published in the Daily Northwestern Student Newspaper. Today, the school announced two new reviews of the hazing situation. And in tonight's Sports Center report, Dan Murphy speaks to attorneys gearing up for a legal battle. Man knows he can deliver a sound bite. We are joined now by Heather Dennish because just like Kirby, we never settle for less here. Um, okay, so of course, Kirby reveals today Carson Beck has the inside track. He hits us one of those, but he says he hasn't done enough to go ahead and hand him over the job. So what are you hearing about Stetson Bennett's successor? Young quarterbacks, Todd Munkin leaving to go take the OC job in Baltimore. But when Georgia takes the field against UT Martin on September 2nd, Kevin, it will have been 637 days I wasn't asked. since they lost a game. I just thought you I wanted to know. I wasn't asked. Let's stay there in the SEC. Hugh Freeze's second stint in the SEC begins with some uncertainty under center there at Auburn. Seven quarterbacks to sort through, including last year's starter, Robbie Ashford. Which way are you hearing that Freeze is leaning right now, Heather? Well, he's not leaning any way in particular, Al. He's State transfer Peyton Thorne went 16 and 9 over two seasons in East Landing, and as a freshman, Ashford, that freak, threw for over 1,600 yards, rushed for 710 more, and had 14 touchdowns. Heather Dennis joining us from SEC Media Days. Thanks, Heather. One of our favorite weeks here, mm -hmm. and all this week in partnership with Make a Wish, ESPN's My Wish series has been making sports wishes come true for kids facing critical illness. Yes, for today's wish, we meet 17-year-old Alden who loves baseball and the thrills of the UFC. So it's only natural that he's choosing to meet a fighter whose nickname is the Diamond. With much more, here's Chris Connolly. Warmed me up so that I could really be hitting stride with my horrible British accent this oh, week. God. Coming up next, no it's fun. the world of X. Enjoy it, loves.